So now I want to continue with a few examples of uh, life track and action. The first example is looking at graphene and copper. Graphene is a interesting material. It has absolutely amazing electrical properties and it has a great potential to be used in future uh, technologies. However, at the moment, it's very difficult to make in large quantities and for industrial exploitation, we need to be able to accurately grow uniform sheets with a selected thickness and morphology because these properties govern the electronic structure and the uh, chemical activity of the material. The most promising technique at the moment looks to be um, growth of graphene using uh, chemical vapor deposition on copper. But precise control still remains a challenge. Characterization of graphene is primarily done with Raman spectroscopy because it gives you so much information about the material. Unfortunately, copper falls out flat, and this makes large area mapping experiments quite difficult. Beneath, I've just got two images showing some work that uh, was involved in, that was published in 2013. Here we are looking at how the underlying copper orientation affects the uh, thickness of the graphene flakes grown on top. The left image is an electron backscatter diffraction image, and you can see that this is of a much larger area than the Raman image. And this is simply because we were only able to maintain focus over this sort of scale area of the Raman image, much beyond than we go out of focus, and that would affect our results. However, what I want to show you now is with live track, I would have been able to do the whole image. Here we have a simple example. This is just a graphene grown on copper between two different copper grains. So there's a grain boundary running down the image. For the first image, this is a simple fast Raman image without live track. And uh, what you can see is because we're out of focus on the left hand side, we lose Raman intensity. We also lose a lot of spatial information. So we basically lost all the morphology of the sample. This grain height difference is not very much. It's only three microns, so a very small amount. Now the image on the right shows the same area and in fact the same scan just conducted with live track on. And here you can see because we're able to track the surface, we get good intensity for both regions and we also get all the morphology information that was lost. So this really gives us a much better control over what we measure and ensures that we get the best performance and the best results from our samples. That was a very small area of graphene on copper, approximately uh, 30 by 20 microns. What I want to show you now is how this technique can scale up to macroscopic objects. So here we have a, um, a graphene on copper sheet, which is 2.9 by 2.6 centimeters. We carried out a Raman map over this uh, graphene sheet using live track and a hundred times lens. The image on the left shows the 2D width, and this is an indicator of the graphene film thickness. In this case, the uh, brighter regions correspond to areas with uh, many layers of graphene, whereas the darker regions correspond to areas with one or two layers of graphene. On the right hand side, we have a topography image, and this just shows us the height change as we scan across the area. And what you can see here is the total change in height is around 150 microns. This is interesting because we measured these results with 100 times objective lens. And for this objective lens, the depth of field is 0.4 microns. So we're orders of magnitude different. But because we're able to use live track, we keep the sample in focus, whereas a regular map, we would lose focus very, very quickly. The image at the bottom right, the movie, is just showing the, um, the Raman map overlaid with this topography image. And I've stretched the um, Z axis to emphasize the actual curve nature of these graphene on copper sheets and uh, to illustrate how difficult it would be to uh, put in a manual correction for this uh, curvature. So that measurement was a, a long measurement. I wanted to try it, I said it going overnight. We're able to get lots of detail, but it's not really suitable for quality control of graphene, so it simply takes too long. Now, um, as a follow-up measurement, I just looked at this segment. So in this case, just 2.4 by 1.7 centimeters. I ran at a slightly larger step size and we were able to get similar information in just four minutes. What this really emphasizes is because we are able to use live track, we're able to use very high magnification objective lenses and this gives us lots of Raman signal. So we're then able to go very fast. And there are lots of benefits with this technique.